This is a revision video for P6F, Mar and the Dynamo Effect. We first met the Dynamo Effect when we did P2, and when we studied about, studied about mains electricity. The mains electricity supply is an AC current, or an alternating current, rather than a DC current, which is a direct current. It's got a frequency of 50 Hz. This means that the voltage reverses direction 50 times every second. All generators inside power stations generate alternating current using the dynamo effect. They use a rotating electromagnet inside a coil of wire. This creates a change in magnetic field inside the coil, inducing a voltage. If the magnetic field is reversed, the voltage is also reversed. So the magnet generates a current that first flows one way and then the other. You know this as the dynamo effect, or sometimes called an AC generator. It consists of a coil. This is the wire in which the AC is induced. It consists of magnets at either side of the coil so that you can have a magnetic field between them. It consists of these slip rings here to allow the coil to spin without tangling the wires up. It consists of these brushes here which allow current to flow from the slip rings and it gives a good electrical contact but it still lets them rotate around and the output makes a smooth curve like a wave, an alternating current. And just to refresh if we were to draw that it will give us a nice graph like this. The current goes from positive to negative to positive to negative. If we wanted to make the size of the induced voltage bigger, then we could increase the number of turns on the coil of wire and we could increase the speed of the rotation. Now if you double the number of turns, then you will double the induced voltage. Spinning the coil faster has got more than one effect. The first one, it increases the size of the induced voltage as the magnetic field changes faster. If you double the speed of the rotation, you double the voltage. It also increases the frequency of the alternating voltage. So if you double the speed, you double the number of rotations per second, so you double the frequency, or you double the number of times it changes backwards and forth every second. That brings an end to this revision video on the dynamo effect. Now because you studied quite a lot of this in P2, most of it is just recapping information. However, the things that you really do need to remember are the rolls of the slip rings and the brushes, and you need to say how they work.